So I had a client, uh, a student on the, the, the PI course that asked, um, how do we, so if I have multiple different uh, messages or line item, how do I filter out some line item that ends with, uh, I guess a cost and a number or something like that. So we had a text with the cost and the number. How do you get that and verify it? Um, so let's see if we can create this in, uh, in seven minutes. Uh, so if you are live on Facebook, let me know, uh, give me a like or a comment. Uh, I do appreciate it. Um, and we should be showing this uh, this demo right now. Um, so let's just get a put it in here. See if we got. Um, so there we got a me message type. So we'll just create a new one. filtering principle so uh, here we have a customer uh, see if this one data type is better or sales order so here we have a sales order with some different line items that's good so let's just So let's just ignore, disable these fields that's required. It's always a good idea when you're doing new mappings, just disable the fields that's required. So you can just focus on the one where you have to do something. Uh, uh, and then otherwise you would have to create the full mapping before you're able to, to do anything in it. So we will uh, delete field. Oh, disable, that's so good. So, uh, we got some uh, material here, so let's just take, uh, we got a line here, that's line T, item, and then the name here would be, then be, and I will be name 2, duplicate sub tree, then we'll have someone in A7. And when you're doing something like this, always create a test data with three lines at minimum. Uh, otherwise, you're not able to, to test it uh, in the best possible way. So uh, we will create our mapping. So let's save the test data here. Otherwise, it's disappearing. Oh, may disappear. Uh, so we'll just map the line items. Oh. And these two are complaining. We don't want those. I guess that's the, the good thing about doing something like this. You can just do whatever you want uh, when you're training or teaching. So right now it should just create a document with the three lines as we expect it to. If we want to check if a line item contains the, let's do the, the A2. So that way I would go up here, I would, uh, on the line item level, I would take the name in. And here I would uh, take a uh, index off. If this string index of uh, was it a2 we wanted to check if it contains a2 then let's see what happens so if we just so this is obviously not correct yet we just want to see what what it looks like and we want to move this out so it's on a header level or an document level so let's display Q so we want to check if if this is a positive number then it is true and we want the, the line there 
um, node function, so we want to do an arithmet. So we want to say greater than. Greater than zero. Then we want to use a creative. Um, so if you look at the queue now, we're getting one true, one um, one suppress, and one false. So if we try it out now, we would see we're getting the, the two line items that we're expecting with this. So uh, I guess this was uh, what we expected from this, that we would use this uh, index of to, to sort these, these parameters in, uh, filter the, the values and then uh, only create use the creative if there's a true, otherwise the value would just be uh, ignored. So, uh, yes, that was uh, it, filter values. I um, hope this was, was useful.